Hey guys, just a quickie. Um, I was sort of curious what the resolution of my detector was. Um, this was a homemade detector that I made with a one and a half inch by three inch sodium iodide thallium doped crystal and an eight stage photomultiplier tube. So the tube isn't as good as it could be. It could be like 10 stage or something, but I was wondering what the resolution was. Um, so I took a cesium 37 spectrum uh, it's pretty typical, you can see the 32 keV XRF peak, the uh, roughly 74 keV XRF peak from the lead shielding, you see down there, uh, backscatter peak, Compton edge, and of course the main photo peak. So I'm just going to be looking at the main photo peak. So the proper way to do this is full width, half maximum, uh, which basically means you find the maximum of this peak, then you find um, the two points on either side of the peak where it's 50% of the maximum. Uh, these peaks usually follow a Gaussian distribution, by the way. Um, and then you find the width of that, uh, and then you divide it by the uh, energy of that peak to come up with the percent resolution. So as you can see, I have selected an ROI, uh, which goes from 50% of the maximum on either side, and the width is um, from 634.3 keV to 685 keV. So I plug that into my calculator, so the width is 50.7 keV divided by the 6, uh, 662 keV peak gives me 7.66% resolution, which is actually pretty good for this sort of detector. So anyway, I just thought that was kind of interesting. I guess the next thing to figure out is um, the efficiency of the detector at various energies, but that would probably be a bit more difficult, but I could still do it. So yeah, anyway thought that was kind of interesting. See you next time.